Hey everyone, Mark and Nick with Hobby Extreme here on this beautiful Saturday at the Fredericksburg RC Flying Club in Fredericksburg, Virginia. We have some great stuff we're going to show you today. We're going to do a couple of interviews. One is going to be with Chris Barton of Full Throttle RC. The other is going to be Santiago Perez uh, with uh, JR and Extreme Flight. You're going to get to see some awesome flying today. Nick and I are going to be here all weekend. We're going to show you some great stuff, so stay tuned. Remember, it's not just a hobby, it's a passion. I'm Mark Hackett from Hobby Extreme. I'm sitting here with a couple of uh, guests today at the Fredericksburg RC Flying Club. Chris Barton is the owner and operator of Full Throttle RC. If you mentioned, if you know, we mentioned in the last video, he actually built the uh, Ranger Turbine. We also have a JR sponsored pilot here, uh, Santiago Perez. And uh, we wanted to just talk to you guys a little bit and uh, show our viewers what it's like on the professional side of this hobby. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. We all call it a hobby, and uh, you know, it's it's we get out there and do it every weekend. But it's more than that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. More of a passion. Oh yeah. Right. Absolutely. So, Chris, let's start with you real quick. Uh, Full throttle RC. What what is Full throttle RC, and how'd you come up with it? Um, we we are first of all we are a turnkey aircraft company. We are dealers for all the major manufacturers, but we sell airplanes ready to fly. So, you call us up, tell us what you're interested in. We take care of everything. All, every component that goes in the airplane, you purchase all that from us. We deliver it to you ready to fly. We can work out delivery at your flying field at a local event where we meet in the middle, but we're pretty much set up to where we can handle the majority of the country, but it's just the gist of it. We test flat with you, 100% turnkey airplane company. Now that's, that's kind of what got me, to be honest with you. I met you at uh, Joe Nall, mm -hmm. and uh, you were not offering only turnkey aircraft, but you were also offering to do a turbine and a jet waiver, waiver, right? Right. right. And uh, that's that's difficult. If you're trying to get into jets, you don't exactly know what the process is and what you need to do. And Chris actually offered that as well. But are you catering to any specific brand? Uh, are you just basically, uh, are, you, are you sponsored by anybody? Well, that, it really doesn't work that way with us because we, we represent so many different brands. And, and I'm one of those guys that if you put a transmitter in my hand, I'm going to love it. And they're the, we're so blessed. Except that, Jenny. <laughs> I won't even go there. <laughs> You're right. But there, we're so blessed in the industry right now because all these manufacturers are just really making fantastic products. Yeah. I mean, it, it just we're all as as consumers in the hobby are, are so fortunate right now. But um, the aerobatic airplanes is what we got our start in, and, and what we real still really. Uh, uh, are specific to, but of course the jet industry we entered this year. Um, yeah, you just got into that, right? That was that started in January, and yeah. Um, when we went to Nall, when when we sold you yours, uh, we ended up selling five jets during the week of Nall, and everyone that purchased them all were first time jet pilots. 
All the boomerang so, rangers? Yeah, all, all the boomerang rangers. And they were all people that needed a turbine waiver. So we've kind of come to figure out that offering a turbine waiver with with a, a turnkey jet purchase is, is I, think, I think it's a good thing. So got me. Yeah. Now, it's, it's worked well. It's like, like yourself. You were as easy as they come. There's other guys that may require two or three days, but not everybody's like you. But he's making me blush. Yeah. <laughs> um, so obviously you, you're great at building aircraft, but uh, they're going to show some clips here of you flying as well. <laughs> now, you, uh -oh. you don't, no, you just, you don't just fly, you fly, right? I Thank mean, you. you really walk the walk. So how long have you been flying and, and what kind of flying do you cater to? Um, I'm, if you would have asked me that question a year ago, I would have said that I like to try to keep up with guys like this right here. Like, let's face it, Santi's one of the best in the country. Absolutely, I agree. And I used to, when I first started flying with him, I, I wanted to try to keep up with guys like him. And th the fact of it is now, man, I'm not getting any younger. And I, <laughs> I really am getting to where I enjoy the smooth and, and trying to be down on the deck and it's crisp and just, it just as crispy on the deck as I possibly can. Call it old man ball dragon 3D. I guess that's what you want to call it. Well, you're going to see it. Uh, we're going to show you clips of that. But uh, Chris, thank you very much. Let's move on to Santiago. Uh, you like to be called Santi? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's how it works. Well, so we've been following you and we've seen you at the several of these events so mm -hmm. far. And uh, to say I'm impressed is is an understatement. Thank you. Right? Thank you. So how long have you been flying? Uh, I've been flying for about 14 years now. So 14, that's it. Yep, 14, 14, and then I've probably been competing for about eight or nine of those years. Okay, so you did, yeah. you really kind of went out of the gate. I mean, oh, yeah. Four or five years of prep, mm -hmm. and then you started competing yep. right, right away. Yep, yep. Okay, and you're flying right now, you're sponsored by uh, some people, aren't you? Yep, yep, I fly for uh, uh, JR, uh, Extreme Flight, Scorpion, Thunder Power, DA, wow. uh, JTA, so yep, wow. yep, I got uh, quite a few uh, companies that, that I work with, and. So uh, very exciting. Well, we got to see you fly this morning, mm -hmm. and uh, so I always have a camera in my hand now that we have a YouTube channel. So we got to we're going to show some of the clips of that as well. But what is the toughest maneuvers you think it is to master? Uh it's it's hard to say just because the the styles of flying change so much just from year to year almost that it's uh it's really hard. I, I think the the hardest aspect is just trying to come up with something new or like a different style than everybody else just to that you're not flying the same as everybody else. There's a lot of no-name stuff now, right? Right, there's a lot of stuff that just don't even have names. Yeah, that's don't right, even have yeah. names, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, we were talking off-camera a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I was actually with Chris about doing a knife edge... Slap. Slap. Yeah, yeah. right? And uh, one, the aircraft can handle it, mm -hmm. which is incredible to us, right? I mean, these new brands are coming out and these aircraft are built so well that yep. you can do this at power and knife edge slap, and we're gonna show you that as well. But doing a maneuver like that, mm -hmm. close to the ground, right? Yep. How many mishaps have you had? Uh, one. Just one? Yeah. It was, yeah. It was the yeah. Yeah, 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 it was it. Yeah, I remember yeah. that, yeah. There's one that I got a little too low on, but. Okay. Yep, yep, it happens sometimes, so. It yeah. does happen sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah. And we saw you flying an electric out there, too, from mm -hmm. Extreme Flight, right? Correct. Yep. Tell us a little bit about that plane. Oh, uh, that's the new 67-inch uh, Extra 260. Okay. So it's the, uh, the new line that's coming out. Uh, very, very good. They use a 6S5000, so like super common pack for everybody. And yeah. It's just incredible performance in a small package. We saw it out at the Great Lakes event mm -hmm. at GL7. Yep. Um, and we were very impressed with it. Uh, it's a kind of a plug and play kind of aircraft yep. offered from Extreme Correct. Play, right? Yep. Yeah, I mean, you can get both. You can get RF and uh, plug and play. You can. Yep. And if it's plug and play, what kind of servos are you getting with it? Uh, on that one, I think it's coming with uh, Theta servos, is one of the options, but they might have a couple more. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. So what's in store for Santi in the future? What events do you have planned for the rest of this year? And what are you looking forward to mostly next year? Uh, well, this year, I'm not sure what else I'm, I'm making. Uh, basically, whatever pops up and I can yep. uh, get out for the weekend, I'm looking for some help. Uh, but I guess the biggest thing for next year is just uh, more more contests starting up and, uh, and all that. So uh, I, I love all the fun places as well. So Jonah is always a, a good one to go to. and. With all the local events, but, yeah, uh, yeah, just all, all the competitions that are going to be coming out next year. Uh, are you going to Joe Nolan in the fall? Uh, I will try. You try, yeah. Chris, are you going to Nolan in the fall? We will be uh, full throttle RC. will be there the whole week. Yeah. Oh, really? The whole week? Yeah. We well, that's awesome, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Uh, we look forward to seeing you fly some more mm -hmm. today. We're at uh, the Fredericksburg RC Flying Field, and a lot of 
good pilots are here. It's a great, beautiful location. Um, home to Chris, I think, correct? Right there. <laughs> right. Yep. Chris actually lives on the flying field. I mean, it can't get better than that. No, it doesn't. Um, do you consider this your home field as well? Yep, yeah, this is definitely one of my home fields. I've okay. spent a, a lot of weekends here and have uh, spent quite a bit of time with Chris. So it's, a, yeah. it's always a fun time. Yeah, I think it's PGRC, right? Isn't that where you go a lot? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's another one yeah. I go to. Where's yeah. PGRC at? In Maryland? Yep. Okay. Yep, yeah, so I'm from Maryland. Yeah. Yeah. So you're happy, obviously, with the models that you're sponsored by, oh, yeah. because you're beating them up in the sky mm -hmm. and they're staying together. Now, do they ever give you something and say, "Try to break it"? Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of uh, R and D that goes into a lot of stuff. So yeah. uh, I do get to try some of the newer stuff before it comes out, and you know, be able to have input on it and uh, all that stuff. So it, it's. Uh, have you been able to break in? No, they, they've gotten really good at putting it wow. in. It's been, uh, it's actually been a really long time since I've broken anything in the air. No the only care. time I'll break anything is on the ground and. If you ever see any newer airframe fail uh, from I've any company it. nowadays, it's normally just neglect on maintenance. I don't so, think yeah. I've ever seen you break anything in the air. Yeah, yeah since I've uh, been flying. It just keeps going. But anytime with, like I said, with modern airplanes, if you if you see someone uh, have something fail in the air, chances are it was breaking for a while and it just got missed in the uh, in the free flights. Yeah. So. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. Yeah. We're excited. We're going to show some yeah. clips of you guys flying, and uh, we hope to see you at uh, the future events. And we appreciate you taking the time with us. Thank you. Well, thanks for having us. Thanks, everyone, from Hobby Extreme. You're going to see more of this content in the future. Thanks for tuning in.